Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I come at you with a comparison video. I have not done one of these in quite some time, but a lot of you have been requesting this one, so I wanted to make sure I filmed it for you. And it is a comparison between the Louis Vuitton Alma BB and my newest purchase, the Louis Vuitton Speedy 20. As you can see, these bags are extremely similar. So of course I haven't had this bag quite as long as I've had the Alma BB, but I have had it long enough to kind of compare and contrast the two. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my usual format where I break it down in category and I select a winner for each category. And then at the end, we are going to tally it up. I have to caveat this by saying, both of these bags are so similar and I love both of these bags, but I wanted to break it up into categories because if you have specific things that you want in a handbag, I wanna make sure I break it down so you can kind of determine for yourself what's important for you in a handbag. So. If that sounds like something you guys be interested in, then make sure to stick around. If you guys are new to my channel, I'd love to have you hit that little subscribe button. And let's get right into the comparison between the Alma BB and the Speedy 20. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. I want to start by kind of telling you a little bit about each bag. So the first bag that I want to mention is the Alma BB. This one is in the beautiful Damier Eben canvas. This bag has four feet on the bottom. It comes with a little clochette right here. On the interior of the bag, it is just this beautiful red, which is absolutely stunning. It does come with a removable strap, but keep in mind the strap is not adjustable. So you can see it is a thin strap. And then one more thing to mention on the inside that there is one interior pocket. And the dimensions of the bag right here, it is 9.3 inches in length, 6.9 inches in height, and it is about 4.5 inches in depth. And it also comes with this beautiful gold toned padlock, which is beautiful. So that is a quick overview of the Alma BB. And now let's quickly go over the Speedy 20. This is my more recent purchase. Oh, it is so cute to look at. I just love it. So this bag right here, you get the embossed cowhide leather. So beautiful, so durable. You have the LV logo that is rather larger embossed on it. This bag does not have feet on the bottom, you can see. It does have the gold toned shiny hardware, it says LV here, and it does have a padlock as well. And the neat thing about this Speedy compared to some of the others is you can see that the zipper pull comes down on the side. So the great thing about that is it enables the mouth of the bag to open. Now I currently have an organizer in it. I am using an organizer by Zumoni. I have it in the icing pink color. So I do have a coupon code for that to get 20% off. I don't get any commission from it, but I will put it up on the screen in case you're interested. But I wanted to take it out so I could show you the interior of the bag. It is just one black large compartment. There is a little small pocket here in which you could put a card holder. And this has the microfiber lining. And then to just give you the measurements really quick, it is 8.1 inches in length, 5.3 inches in height, and about 4.7 in depth. So let's do a quick side by side. You can see that the Alma BB is a bit taller and the Speedy is a bit wider as you can see, but they are very, very similar. Okay, so now that I broke down each bag for you, just to kind of give you a little bit of background on them in case you didn't know much about the bags, now what I like to do is move into the individual categories. And for each category, I like to pick a winner. And then at the end, we will tally it up and see which one comes out on top. So the first category that we're gonna talk about is price. Oh, the prices of these bags are so expensive. They really are, but there is a price difference. Now, I do want to mention or point out for this video that I am comparing the Emprunt leather to the canvas. So keep in mind, this bag does also come in the Emprunt leather as well. So I am gonna include both prices for you. 
So let's start with the Alma BB. If you were to get the, and there are so many price increases, so I'm going as of today, December 29th, 2021. The price of the Alma BB is $16.20, but if you were to get it in the Emprunt leather, it would be $23.60. Now as for the Speedy, the price of this is $24.60. 40 in the Emperor leather, but if you were to get it in the beautiful monogram, that one is $18.90. So for this particular category, if we're talking price, you're going to have to give it to the Alma BB, whether you get the Emperor leather or the canvas. Okay, now I want to move on to the next, in my mind, probably one of the most important categories, and that is what fits. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin the camera around. What I usually like to do is I pick out a bunch of small leather goods, and I share with you what fits, and then I try to see if the same items can fit in the other bag. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we will see who comes out on top. Okay, now we are going to do a what fits for both these bags. So here is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. We're going to start with this. And you can see it is just one large opening. And I just brought a bunch of random items and we're going to see what fits. So first I have my Louis Vuitton Emprunt key pouch. This is my favorite. I love it. Pop that in there. Then I have my... Rosalie, oh my gosh, you know this is one of my favorite wallets. And let's pop that in there as well. We'll hold it like that. And then I have a card holder. This is where I usually keep gift cards. Pop that in there and you can see there's still a ton of space. So then I'm going to put in there, let's do a mini pochette. So I have this mini pochette right here. This is what I like to keep like um, toiletries in, like, you know, hand lotion and that sort of thing. And let's pop that in there like that so you can see how that fits. And then as you can see, we can fit more. So we're going to just keep going. Then I have my little uh, Louis Vuitton. This is my key pouch, which I love, and I can pop that in there as well and we can keep going so we're going to <laughs> so then I have this oh my gosh you guys I have been loving this this is my little um, Gucci key pouch and let's see we can pop that down in there vertically like so and then I think we are getting kind of close to the edge so let's pop in some sunglasses so here's some Louis Vuitton sunglasses that you can either put vertical like so or you can kind of just lay on top and then we will go ahead and we will zip this up you might be able to fit a couple more little things in there but for the most part that is what we can fit so as you can see the Alma BB one of the best things about it is how much can fit like I don't know if you would carry all of that but I just wanted to kind of show you everything that fits. So now let's move on to the Speedy 20. Here is the beautiful Speedy 20. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially take the same items that I put in the Alma BB and see if they can fit. So let's start with the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Pop that in there and you can see I do have an organizer in there. Then I also have my Rosalie pop that in there then I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch pop that in there I have my card holder put that in there and you can see we're already kind of getting a little full then I have my Gucci little key pouch and I can pop that probably right there and we are getting kind of full but let's keep going we also have this little key clay which can probably put down in there but it is getting stuffed and we are getting pretty stuffed but let's just see here are the sunglasses and you might be able to let's see fit them in so yeah okay so let's go ahead see if we can zip it okay so as you can see I will be able to zip it if I really force the issue but it is pretty stuffed to the brim. So even though I can fit about the same amount, I would say I still had a little bit of space left in the Alma BB, mainly because of the shape of it. So let me show you. You can see the shape of it. Because this one is a little bit taller, 
and has a little more height. You can put a little more up top. Even though I was able to zip both bags, I'm gonna say for this category, the Alma BB wins because all of these items fit a lot more comfortably in here, whereas this one I had to work a little bit. But for the most part, they fit about the same, but if we are strictly judging this category, the Alma BB would fit more. Okay, so as you can see, the winner of this category just barely was the Alma BB. Both of them could fit about the same amount, but you did see that when I was stuffing the items in the Speedy, it was a little harder to get them in there. I could close both of them, but there was a little bit more space. And I think in the Alma BB, and I think it has a lot to do with the height and this clamshell opening, how it does open and it just kind of expands a little bit. So for that particular category of what fits, it goes to the Alma BB, but Barely. Okay, now I want to talk the durability of the bag. So obviously I can't do a wear and tear because I've had this I've had this one much longer than I've had the Emprunt leather. However, what I can tell you, canvas is so incredibly durable, but I also know the Emprunt leather is durable as well. So this one is a tough category, so I think it's going to come down to personal preference, but for me personally, if I look at the bags in my collection, I look at the canvas bags and I look at the, my Emprunt leather because you guys know I do own the Emprunt leather in the Pochette Matisse. That has held up so well and that's probably my most worn bag. So I would have to say as far as durability, even though the canvas print is very durable, I'm going to have to say the Emprunt leather is better because my pochette matisse specifically with that type of leather i have worn over and over and over and over again and the leather is amazing but again for this category once again it could be a little close but i'm going to pick the emprunt leather because not only do i have the pochette matisse and emprunt leather but i also have the key pouch which you know is one of my favorites and that just wears so beautifully not only is the leather durable, but I have taken it in the rain, all sorts of things, and it is just amazing. Now, keep in mind, the canvas does great too, but if I had to pick a winner, it would have to go to the M. Prant leather for sure. Okay, the next category is very important, and it is ways to wear, because you guys, if you have a bag, you wanna know it's versatile, you wanna know that you can wear it multiple ways. So I will share with you the ways to wear, and I will also include mod shots while I'm doing that. Let's start with this beautiful bag right here. You can wear this on the crook of your arm, Obviously, as a top handle, I love that it has a removable strap. You can also wear it as a crossbody, which is my favorite way to wear it, or you can wear it as a long, shorter bag. So you can wear this bag three different ways, which is amazing, super, super versatile when it comes to ways to wear. Now let's talk about the Speedy. The Speedy, the same way. You can wear it on the crook of your arm, carry it, you can wear it as a crossbody bag, and you can also wear it as a long shoulder bag. So for this category, I'm gonna have to give it a tie because for both of these bags, I wear them all three ways. Okay, the next category I wanna talk about is ease of use. So of course, if you have a bag, you wanna know that it's easily accessible. How easy is the bag to use? So let's start with the Alma BB. The Alma BB, the thing that I like is because it had, and I think I've mentioned this before, because it has this clamshell opening, I do not zip it all the way. I would just wear it and I can easily slip my hand in to get things in and out. So I feel as far as that's concerned, it's very, very easy and can easily access my things. I have to say that the neat thing about the Speedy is I don't really zip this either. Just like the Alma BB, you can see when you have it open, it just kind of peeks open a little bit. So I can reach my hand in this one and easily access my things. And this one, because the zippers do go off to the side, it's the same. So honestly, you guys, as far as like easily accessing my things, I'm going to have to say this is another tie because both of them, when I'm wearing it, I get the same feel as far as grabbing my things and getting them out. Both of them, as you can see by the mouth, open about the same width. So I would say for this category as well, as far as ease of use, reaching your hands in, it's gonna have to be a tie. Okay, the next category is how comfortable is the bag to wear? If we're gonna be 
wearing these bags all day, we want to know that they are comfortable and they are, you know, easy to wear. So let's start with the Alma BB. I would say the Alma BB, for the most part, is comfortable to wear. However, it does have the thin strap and the strap is not adjustable. You guys, this is a huge, huge pet peeve of mine. Not only do I wish it was adjustable, but I wish the strap was a little bit thicker as well. So sometimes when I wear it, I might wish the length was a little different. And then also, because this is kind of a bowling bag style, sometimes when you wear it on your body, it can feel a little awkward. Now, it doesn't bother me too much, but I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. So as far as it being comfortable, I mean, I wear it all day. I would say it is comfortable, but those are some things I wanted to point out. I wish the strap was adjustable. I wish the strap was a little thicker. Now, you can remove this strap and use another strap on here if you want, but I do wish this strap was adjustable a little thicker. And then, like I said, this kind of fits a little awkwardly on your body, but those are my only pet peeves with this. Now, let's talk about the Speedy. So, the Speedy comes with this beautiful strap right here. So the nice thing about the Speedy, it does come with this strap and the strap is adjustable. But I do find that when wearing it with this strap, it can be a little shorter than I would like. Now I still like wearing it crossbody, but my preference when wearing this is to wear it with the Pochette Matisse strap. That's how I feel it is a little more comfortable. Now, sometimes because of the shape of the bag, if you are wearing it as a crossbody, it can tend to feel a little bit bulky just because of the size, but for the most part, I would say it's pretty comfortable. Between the two of these, the Speedy is probably more comfortable to wear than the Alma BB because it does have the flatter shape. I think the problem with the bowling bag shape is it can tend to feel more awkward. And then that strap, the strap is just so thin and not adjustable. Even with this one having the strap that's a little shorter, you can still adjust it to your size. And I don't know, I would say between the two of these bags, as far as which one is more comfortable to wear, I'm definitely gonna have to go with the Speedy. Let's talk special features of bags. You know that I always like to mention special features or things that kind of stand out. So I would say with this one, one of the really, really nice things about it is it does have feet on the bottom. So if you do place it on a counter, you don't have to worry about the bottom getting dirty. Other than that, things are pretty comparable and nothing else really, really stands out. However, let's talk the speedy. The special features for this Speedy that I really love is it does have that adjustable strap. And then I love the fact, love, love, love the fact that it has this feature where it zips down to the side so the mouth of the bag does open wider. So that is huge. So it doesn't have feet, but because this bag does zip down to the side, opens wider, it does have that adjustable strap. It just has a few more special features than the Alma BB. So for this particular category for special features, it's going to have to go to the Speedy 20. Okay, this is gonna be an easy one. The next category is going to be the strap of the bag because when you're wearing a bag, the strap is important. You guys know for me, I love removable and adjustable. So I'm sure you know which one is going to win. However, I do have a couple comments. Now this one I have mentioned it does have a removable strap, which is great. However, it does not have an adjustable strap, which is a big deal breaker for people because we are obviously all different heights. So if it's short on me, it might be extra short on someone taller and vice versa. So I do wish this strap in particular was a little thicker and I wish you could adjust it. Let's mention this one. I do love the fact that you can remove the strap and then I love that this strap, it comes with the chain so it can kind of be a little more dressy. I like that it does adjust. However, my favorite way to wear this is definitely with the Pochette Matisse strap because it is a little bit longer. And when I wear this bag, I like to wear it with a jacket. So when I wear the Pochette Matisse strap, it is a little bit longer so it kind of hits me a little bit lower. But even if I wasn't using the Pochette Matisse strap, I would prefer this one. As you can see, it is thicker than the Alma B strap. It is adjustable and I love that it has has that added detail of the chain, which kind of makes it a little dressier. So for this category, it is going to have to go to the Speedy 20. Okay, for this next category, it is how versatile, in other words, 
can you wear the bag casual or dressy? So let's start with the Alma BB. So this might be up for a little bit of debate because a lot of times if you look at the Damier Aben canvas, it can have a tendency to be a little more casual. However, I think because it has a removable strap and you can carry this as like a top handle bag, I personally have worn this bag casual with jeans, I will insert a pic, and I have also worn it as a top handle to work. So for this, I feel like you can wear it casual, or I feel like you can also wear it a little bit more dressy to work as well, because I have personally worn it for both. But again, just like anything, it obviously depends on the person wearing it and what your preference is, but for me, I've worn these this bag both ways. Okay, now let's talk about the Speedy. So. I actually feel the exact same way about this one. I have worn this casual with jeans and then you can also wear it with a work outfit too with like some black pants and a blouse. Because this Speedy comes with the chain, it kind of elevates it a little bit and makes it a little dressier. So in my particular opinion, for this category of like casual or dressy, I think you can get away with wearing these casual or wearing these to work as well. I really, really do. So I'm gonna have to give these bags a tie for this particular category. Okay, now it is time to tally everything up and see the winner. So we have the Alma BB with two, and the winner of that category was price because it is more affordable, and also what fits because it does fit a little more. We have a tie of two with number one, you can wear both of the bags casual or dressy, and you can see as far as the matchups go, you can wear, this bag is versatile in the sense where you can wear them all as a top handle, crossbody, or long shoulder. And then we have the BD20 that comes in with five, where for durability, you have that imprint leather, which is so long lasting. You have the ease of use because you have the zippers on the side. You can easily access your hand and the mouth of the bag opens very wide. Also how comfortable the bag is. It is super, super comfortable to wear. The special features, it has that side zip and it also has an adjustable strap, which is huge. You have the strap category where you have a removable and an adjustable strap, whereas the, the Alma BB only has a removable strap. So as you can see, the winner of this based on these categories and based on opinion from yours truly would be the Speedy 20. However, just like I like to tell you guys in all of my videos, I absolutely love both of these bags. Like, it was really hard picking a winner, honestly, because these are such great bags. They really are. So just like any other handbag, it comes down to your personal preference. So even though I picked, like for example, let's talk about durability. Some people might think, oh no, Amber, the canvas is more durable, but I'm just going by my opinion. You know, the imprint leather has definitely held up well in my bag and my small other goods because I have found sometimes with the canvas, you can get a little bit of glazing. So it's obviously up to opinion, but for me personally, I would have to say that between these bags, I'm gonna have to go with the Speedy 20. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions for me at all about anything I talked about with these bags, if there's anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram by sending me a message or leave a comment down below and I would definitely try to get back to you. As I always state in all of my videos, I know that these bags can be a little expensive so I want to make sure I put all the details out there for you guys so you can make a sound decision before you pull the trigger and spend the money so hopefully I helped you guys if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I love to have you follow me on Instagram as well thank you guys so much for watching if there's anything else you'd love to see for me in 2022 make sure to let me know have a wonderful day you guys and I'll see you in my next video up, I am on my way, I'm in motion, let's go to the ocean, yeah, let's go outside, we can hang out on the beach with our free